Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on creating pie charts in Microsoft Excel. In counseling research, we consider it prudent to plan research projects carefully, including our expenses. And I have here some common items on this worksheet that you would want to plan for before launching a research project. And then I have some fictitious costs here. So I'm going to show you how to create a few different types of pie charts with this data. So taking a quick look at this data, we have some different cost items, facilities, researchers, research assistants, the cost of recruiting participants, instruments, and what I mean by instruments, I'm referring to psychometric instruments. These are the instruments we use to measure participant characteristics. Uh, of course, software, uh, for example, Excel or SPSS. And then the cost of the treatment. Uh, if, we're, if our experiment has to do with comparing a treatment or treatments to a control group, for example, uh, we'd have a cost associated with that. And you can see these are all in green. And then I have a few in orange here. These are three specific treatments. And you'll notice that their costs add up to the cost of the treatment. So these, these are specific treatments broken down. Uh, cognitive behavioral therapy, existential therapy, and group therapy. So these three categories represent a subset of treatment. So let's start with the basic pie chart. So first we'll want to highlight cells A1 through B8. So this region here we highlighted. And then on the ribbon up top, click insert, and you can see there's several different uh, chart options. We'll select pie. And let's just go with the standard uh, pie chart in two dimensions. And you can see this is what it looks like by default. To make it stand out a little more, I'm going to go to Chart Styles and select the chart with the black background. And you can see this is a little easier to view, uh, but there's a lot of data that we may want uh, on this chart that's not on here. For that, we would go to Chart Layouts to modify that. And there's a uh, variety of layouts available. You can see here's one with the name of the item and the percentage, but without the actual cost. This one has the names and the color coded, and then just the percentages. And as you move through, you can see uh, there's a variety of options. Here's one without the percentages, but with the cost. and just the categories uh, on the section of the pie and the percentages with the categories so the items to the right and here this one with the items to the right but with uh, no percentages or cost. And as you can see though as you mouse over a particular slice of the pie you do get the what's referred to as the value so that would be the cost in this case and the percentage. So I'll go back to a style that I like to use for these, which is the uh, percentage and the item near or on the actual slice of the pie. And again, if you mouse over, you can get the dollar value there. So let's say now that we, we kind of like this arrangement, but as we look at the colors, we think, well, you know, this particular color here, the red, uh, really doesn't match the rest of these colors. Now, it seems okay to me, but of course, everybody has their own preferences with these uh, colors. So if you go to Format, uh, after highlighting just a slice, you can see there's a shape fill, and you can change that color to any color you might want. Maybe one you think is more consistent with the other colors on the chart. So I'll leave this as the uh, default, which would be the red, but I just wanted to show you how you can uh, change the colors from the chart tools format item on the ribbon. So I'm going to delete this particular chart and using the same selection, I'll go back to insert and then pie and we'll take a look at what they call the exploded pie 
can see it's just the slices here are separated. And again, a little bit easier to see with the black background. And you have all the same options for formatting the pie chart. And as with all the charts in Excel, uh, not just pie charts, you can change the items on the actual uh, chart itself. If you wanted to rename uh, the chart title, for example, and there's also a uh, layout item on the ribbon that allows you other editing abilities for charts. So I'm going to delete this chart. And now I want to uh, show you the uh, Pi of Pi and then the uh, Bar of Pi features. So I'm going to highlight for this example all the items down to software. And then I'm going to hold down control and highlight the last three items. So I'm going to skip the treatment, but I'm going to add the last three items. Go to insert, pi, and select pi of pi. And you can see there's also over here bar of pi, which I'll get to in a moment. So you can see here is the pi of pi. And again, I'll switch this to a black background. And you can see what this has done is it's taken one area, uh, in this case uh, treatment, which it, it names other, and it's created the three areas uh, underneath that, the CBT, existential, and group. Now, it did this by default, meaning it takes the bottom three by default, and then renames the category other. So you can see uh, the, the treatment is 34%, but then broken down uh, the existential and CBT are 13%, and the group is 8%. As you're planning out expenses, this type of uh, feature where you're creating a, another pie to look at just a section of one slice of the main pie makes sense uh, given the cost of the treatment is relatively high compared to uh, a lot of the other costs uh, for this project. So a few areas I want to show you here uh, you can name, of course, and I would recommend it, you can name other uh, what it actually is, which is treatment, just by editing it right in the label. That makes a little more sense to whoever would be viewing the chart. And you can also change, uh, I, I'm, I wouldn't need to here, of course, but you could change the number of items that are extracted into this second pie. And you would do that by selecting this slice of the pie, which was uh, named other, now is named treatment, and right-clicking, and you want format data point, which is the last item on this drop-down menu. And you can see that by default it takes the last three values, uh, and by default it splits the series by position. You could also split it by value, percentage value, or custom. Uh, probably the most common would be by position or percentage value. But you can see it takes the last three. So if you had, instead, if you had, say, four or five treatments, you would, you would need to edit this value to reflect that. Now, of course, this won't make sense as I move this up now to four because it's taking software. I just want to show you how the chart dynamically changes based on the number of categories selected. Uh, remember, it's taking the last categories. So this will be the last seven, last six, and so on. And I'll just leave it back at three, uh, where I started. And then from the Format Data Point dialog, you also have the option of uh, changing the point explosion. So you can see, it, as you add that, it separates out uh, the treatment, the gap width can be edited here, and then the second plot size can be changed. So you can make it relatively small or relatively large or even larger than the primary pie chart. 
Now from earlier, you remember that I changed the color. Uh, from this dialog, you can go to Fill, and say you wanted to change this from uh, this lavender color to something else. You can see it's set to Automatic. Uh, you could move to uh, Solid Fill and just select a color, uh, much as I did before up in the ribbon, or uh, well, a variety of options, but another one is Gradient Fill. So let's say I choose one of the gradient stops, and I'll choose the center one. And this is like a light blue, uh, so I'm going to change this maybe to a uh, darker blue. And you can see how the gradient fill affects the design there on that slice. You can also change uh, based on preset colors. You can see there's some patterns there, uh, the type the direction, I could change the direction, and of course the angle. And I picked the uh, second stop, but there's also a first stop and third stop that can be edited. And of course the position and the brightness and transparency as well. So there are a lot of options for editing uh, the color. So I'll just leave, let's leave the chart like that. And then I want to show you the last type of chart, which is actually very similar, which is called a bar of pie chart. So I'll delete this one, but I'm going to leave the same areas uh, selected. So it's everything uh, that I've entered except for the treatment. And under the pie menu, I'm going to select bar of pie. And then switch this to a black background. And add the percentages. You can see it's really the same thing except for the way the sub categories are broken out is in a bar format as opposed to a separate pie chart. And modifying uh, this chart is very similar to modifying the pie of pie chart. I hope you found this video on creating pie charts in Microsoft Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.